Hey everyone, Jason here. A few months ago I posted a couple of videos on this telegraph machine slash printer that I designed using my Mindstorm ZV3 kit. And I have a lot of information on my website about how to configure it and calibrate it. But I received some requests to make a video on that process just so that it might be a little bit more clear on how to get it up and running and working properly. So let's jump right in. Once you have finished going through the building instructions, you should get something that looks like this. And the first thing we're going to do is wire it up to the EV3 unit. Motor port A is connected to the large motor at the top, which controls moving the pen from side to side. Motor port B is connected to this large motor on the side, which controls feeding the paper in and out. And motor port C is connected to the M motor at the back, which controls raising and lowering the pen. Sensor port 1 is connected to the touch sensor, where we'll tap out our Morse code. And sensor port 4 gets connected to the color sensor underneath, which will detect when the paper has been fed into the machine. The next thing we're going to do is mount the pen. And we're actually just going to turn on the EV3 unit while we do that. Now what we want to do is disengage the motor that raises and lowers the pen by sliding this 24 tooth gear to the side, which will disengage it from the worm gear that drives it. Now that that's done, we can manually raise and lower the pen assembly. And we're going to raise it, and then we're going to insert the pen into the elastic band here. I'm going to insert a piece of paper just so we can more easily see what's going on. You want to position the pen within the rubber band holder so that as we lower the pen assembly, the tip of the pen hits the paper before the sides of the pen assembly hit the frame. Now that we have the pen roughly positioned where we want it, we need to calibrate the printer. We're going to raise the pen to its highest position and re-engage the motor that controls the pen height by sliding that 24 tooth gear back onto the worm gear. We're going to make sure there's a piece of paper in the printer and we're going to move this bar to its forward position to keep the paper flat on the printing bed and then we're going to run the calibrate program. The cal calibrate program will lower the pen and start moving it from side to side. Every time you hit the down button on the EV3 unit it will lower the pen a little bit and we want to keep doing that until the pen just starts depositing ink on the paper. Once that happens, we know that the pen is at the correct printing height. And now we can hit the center button on the EV3 unit, which will return the pen to the center and raise it back up. Now we can stop the calibrate program and the printer has been configured. I'm just going to take this piece of paper out now. And now if you want to print something by encoding Morse code, you can run the printer program. And the printer program will just keep feeding paper in until it covers the color sensor and then it will lower the pen to get ready to start printing. And now you can start inserting Morse code. So one important thing to note is that you don't have to wait for it to finish printing a letter before you start encoding more letters. So now it's catching up with the three letters I inserted. The other thing to note is that unlike real Morse code, you can pause as long as you want between encoding letters. Um, and the reason I did that is just to make it a little more friendly for novices because I certainly found that as I was trying to figure out how to encode the next letter, if I actually had it true to form, I would have a space between each letter because I paused too long. So it doesn't automatically put spaces between letters. I actually added a special code to add a space, which is dot dash dot dash, which will just move the pen a little to the right. I also added a special code to move the carriage to the next line. If you just continue encoding letters, when it gets to the end, it will automatically do a carriage return. But if you want to do one before you hit the end of the line, you can do four dashes to move to the next line.
if you encode a letter correctly, it will show it on the screen at the top. If you encode something that it doesn't understand, it will just beep. It does take a little bit of practice to get the timing right. Just make sure your dots are really quick taps and your dashes, you hold them for a little while. Another important thing to note is that you shouldn't just cancel the printing program when you're finished. Otherwise, you'll have to recalibrate the pen height again. Once you're finished printing, just hit the center button, which will move the pen to the center and lift it up again and feed the paper out. Now that that's finished, you can cancel the program. I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. There is more detailed information on everything I went through on my website at jkbreakworks.com. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on building, and I will see you next week.